Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to properly tack up your horse so that you can go on a ride safely. You first need a horse, obviously, so you can tack it up. Then you need a blanket. This is an English blanket because I'm going to be tacking up English today. So you want to drape it over the horse and you want it right on the withers, which is the top of their shoulder. That is a proper placement so that your saddle is in a good spot for you to sit on and ride properly. Next, you need a saddle. Traditionally, you also tack up from the left side, but this horse is a very kind of well-tamed horse, I guess you could say, so you can tack her up on either side, but this is different for every horse. You also want to put this piece of Velcro through the first loop of your saddle to attach the blanket to the saddle. This is a girth, and you want to put the girth through the loop, and then you're going to put it through one of the holes, and her measurements are two holes on each side. Each horse is different depending on the measurement of your girth, as well as the size of your horse and like I said the measurement is two holes on each side so I'm just doing that on this side here and you want the girth to be snug around the stomach and this is to ensure the saddle and the blanket are all attached and they won't slide you don't want your saddle to slide off when you're mounting or when you're riding so it's important that these are done properly and I'm just putting that velcro piece through the first loop once again to attach my saddle to my blanket. And that's what it's gonna look like. Next, you're gonna need your bridle. This is the brow band, this is the nose band, and this is called a snaffle bit. There are many types of bridles out there and many types of bits out there, but this is what works best for my horse. And some horses are different and you have to use different things. Right now, I'm just taking off her halter which is what she wears when she's in her stall. And I'm putting the reins on just to add some support. I'm putting my hand on the bit so that I can put pressure on her teeth so that she opens her mouth so she takes the bit. Then you put the ears through the brow band hole so that it's properly attached. And you just wanna make sure that everything is straight and not crooked so that it feels good on her face because this is how you're gonna steer the horse. Now I'm tightening the nose band and you want to be able to fit three fingers and now I'm doing the cheek piece which you want to be able to kind of make a fist. I'm showing you right there. Um, and that's just the proper measurement for your horse's face. And now she's all tacked up. Thank you for watching.